Viburnum tinus fruits use lipids to produce metallic blue structural colour. Viburnum tinus, sometimes called Loris tinus, is an evergreen shrub that's native to the Mediterranean region but cultivated widely in Europe and elsewhere. Here's one. Its fruits are this beautiful blue, quite unusual. Unlike other fruits, they seem kind of shimmery or metallic. The interesting thing about fruits is that their visual appearance is very important to attracting birds to eat them. Plants need to attract the right birds to eat their fruits and disperse the seeds, a way of communicating between the plant and the birds. Normally, fruits are delicious and nutritious in order to attract birds to eat them and take their seeds elsewhere. This fruit actually has very little flesh. The whole thing is a big seed or seed inside a big tough endocarp with a tiny bit of flesh, red pigment, and the blue outer layer. It's not tasty to us. Well, I personally did not find it tasty. Even so, previously scientists have shown that the fruit actually contains a lot of lipid compared to other fruits, making it a valuable winter treat for birds like robins and blackcaps. Why does this matter? Well, we were wondering why the fruit looked so strange. So we looked inside the cells of the outer layer and we found something very unusual. The outer cell wall of the fruit is full of layers and layers of blobby globules. We realised that these globules are made up of lipid, and not just any lipid, potentially digestible lipid. Potentially, it's a fat. The lipids make up a nanostructure that is on the same scale as the wavelength of blue light that is visible to humans as well as birds. Because of its size and the materials making up this nanostructure, the lipids on the cell wall, it reflects blue light by interference even though there is no blue pigment in the cells. These layers are aligned roughly with the surface within each cell, making the light reflected back more like a mirror, which explains the metallic shimmery appearance. The rest of the light passes through and is absorbed by a dark red pigment underneath. The cool thing is that the fruit makes its colour using a material that is potentially nutritious to the birds. The colour and the nutrition could be made of the same thing. We hypothesise that that makes the fruit's signal honest. If it fails to make the lipids, it won't be colourful and it won't be worth eating. That's very useful if you want to trust the signals. Viburnum tinus, an example of a brand new way of producing colour and an honest communication, all in a shiny blue fruit. This work was done by me, Rox Middleton, and my co-first author, Miranda Sinet Armstrong, also by Yuagawa, Gianni Yakuchi, Edvige Moirud, Paula J. Ruddle, Chrissy Prickid, Maria Conajero, Beverly J. Glover, Michael J. Donahue, and Sylvia Vignolini, who is the corresponding author.